Um, so Maria, can you describe your first impressions about the script of The Cooler after you read it? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it's just odd. Um, <laughs> oh, the first, my first impressions of the script, I uh, was in New York City when I first read the script and immediately this, my Philly accent came back and I was so engrossed in this character and knew I, I had to play her. I think it's so rare to read a script that all of the main characters are so beautifully drawn, so deep and interesting and have such profound journeys. And I think each one of these characters had that. I think Wayne Kramer and Frank Hanna just uh, wrote an incredible piece. Okay. So what was it about the character of Natalie that made you want to play her? I felt an affinity for Natalie. I felt that her hopelessness mirrored not only the hopelessness in the world, but in myself at times in my life. And I saw the truth in the transforming power of love. I've seen it in my own life. I've learned to love my broken pieces through loving somebody else, through letting somebody else see all of me. And um, I loved showing that journey on screen. Mm, nice. Um, Tell me about your first meeting with co-writer and director Wayne Kramer. What was it about him, if there was anything that you know, made you want to work with him? Well, Wayne Kramer had such a strong vision for this movie and the story he wanted to tell, and such a love for these characters. I mean, everything was on the page. He did such a great job writing it, but he also hired excellent people around him. I mean, Bill Macy and Alec Baldwin, I think, two of the best actors in American cinema today, just outstanding in these roles. He cast it beautifully. He got a great DP in Jimmy Whittaker. And um, all the people who he surrounded himself with were excellent and only served his vision. But he was able to be open enough and egolessness enough to um, collaborate with all of us and let us all have a great experience doing it. Yeah. Um, this film has such a fantastic ensemble cast. Tell me about it and how was it like to work with each of them? Um, I kind of just answered that, but yeah, you want to go on. <laughs> Maybe just like your experiences working individually with like Bill or Alec. <coughs> Bill Macy has such a, such a sense of humor. You get that from watching his roles and such a humanity to him, such a kindness. Um, it's in his roles, it permeates his roles, but it's also who he is as a human being. So when I first met him, the first thing he said, he looked up and he said, how about those nude scenes, <laughs> you know? He, he was able to, uh, to make me laugh a lot. We just got on from the first minute and got to be friends and he made me feel so comfortable and I feel like I was able to do anything because of, uh, because of him. And Alec Baldwin is a force of nature. This guy is such an incredible actor. I saw him in Glengarry Glen Ross and I thought, wow, that's one of the best things I've ever seen. And now this movie is ten times that. I mean, he just goes for it. When I had to go up against him, I was terrified. Mm -hmm. And um, he really helped me to hold my ground and to face him. Great. Um, in your words, when you describe The Cooler, what kind of film is it to you? Someone described The Cooler as a dark fairy tale. And I love that idea that um, these, you know, two odd people in this kind of magical world they find each other, and through the transforming power of love, um, they they start to dream again and, and, and get hope. Yeah, perfect. Well, that's it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Good interview.